Alright, I'm going to teach y'all how to sample or place drums in FL Studio using SliceX. Uh, so you can go from sounding like this. Sounding like this. Okay, so obviously you can see here this song the recording doesn't actually have a kick it has a kick trigger track you hear that it's just a uh, little clicking so they obviously had sample replacement in mind so how we're gonna do this is we are going to be using uh, Edison's noise gate feature to clean up the individual tracks and then we're gonna put them in a slice X and create markers automatically so we can import it into the piano roll so for this example, I'll just do the snare track. This is the actual, just the individual snare track. Here how there's like bleed from the toms and the cymbals or whatever. You want to get rid of as uh, of that as much as possible. So when we put it in the slice X, it's only going to add markers to the actual snare pieces. Um, so let's just go in and we'll see like right here there's like a tom hit that's pretty loud it's like the loudest thing that isn't a snare in here uh you want to grab that uh double click and then drag over it highlight it then right click tools acquire noise threshold and that's gonna uh make a little green uh box around this okay and we're gonna use that to delete all of the noise so before you actually delete all the other stuff that isn't snares, all the noise, you want to just go in and make sure that the green doesn't go over any of the snare hits. Um, you see how he has these flams going on? You want to make sure that stays in. And you just scroll, 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 scroll. See how there's like a little snare fill? Da -da 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 -da. Just make sure that this uh, doesn't get deleted. It's not going to get deleted because it's outside of the green boundaries. So you just go on, go on, go on. Uh, da, 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 da. We're just seeing if any of the snares are too low in volume, like ghost notes or whatever. Um, but it seems like it's good. So you press the up arrow, so you deselect everything. Then you right click, tools, then gate noise. Okay. Now. Now see that? It's just the uh, snares. Uh, so then we drag it in Slice X. And you bring up Slice X. I always like to normalize it. Go to this wrench, go to normalize, just to make sure it picks up on all these peaks. Then you go to this little box and go to Auto Slice, Medium, Auto Slicing. You have Dull and Sharp and Medium. It's just the different sensitivities of the Auto Slicing. I just pick Medium and roll with it and so yeah, now you can see it adds all these markers. Now for each of these markers, what it's going to do is it's going to make a MIDI note. Like, see right here? This is my snare. Um, see all these MIDI notes? Okay. See, you can even see the flam right here. Okay. So for each of these markers in Slice X, it's going to make a MIDI note. So you just have to go and make sure, see right here? It picked up on the kick or whatever from the overhead bleed or whatever and put a marker right there just put a marker put the marker drag it over here um, press up arrow to deselect and so you're just gonna go scan and make sure none of these uh, got uh, like every snare has a marker so it, you know it actually has a MIDI for each snare hit see like this is a snare flam right here you could tell because the waveform uh, you need to add a marker so the best way to add markers is to double click anywhere and then drag until you get to the beginning of the new snare hit press M the letter M then just hit enter and then it'll make a new marker right there see okay so we're just going along here blah 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 we're just gonna go and see if it put a marker anywhere where it shouldn't be and make sure it put a marker everywhere that there needs to see like right here didn't pick that up for whatever reason just double click drag 
Bada bing, bada boom. Now there's a marker. Okay. Uh, I'm just scrolling here. Just use the select tool to scroll a little quicker. Alright, press up arrow to deselect everything. And go to the wrench, go to dump to piano roll, and now this is important, go to flatten groove. This is going to paint everything on the same note. If you don't, it's going to be like different notes, different pitches, and uh, it's going to be a pain to actually get them all in the same area. So just click flatten groove. As you can see right here, they're all on the same note. And see right here, you even picked up that flam. So you're in the piano roll, control A, control C, and you'll go in here and you'll paste it. And now you just got to make sure it lines up horizontally with the gray ghost note in slice X. You can see right here, this is my snare. I'm just going to delete that and select these again. Now you can hold shift. It's already lined up time wise. Now you need to put it on the right note because right now it'd be playing a symbol. You need to go down here for a snare. So hold down shift and then press down key till you get right there. Or you could press control. Control, it moves by octave. I'm just going to make sure that it's... Yeah. Okay. Control moves it down by octave. So you could do control, control, then go up. Anyway works. So now we have this again. I'm going to mute the slice X. Okay, so that's basically it. You do the same exact thing with the toms. The toms are a lot easier because there's like very little toms, uh, and it's a lot easier to gate them. Uh, see, like that. Kick, the kick trigger is the same exact thing, except um, you know, because it's a trigger, it's not gonna have you're not gonna have that much problem with gating and uh, doing the markers. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then if you combine that with the actual overheads. See that? So yeah, that's uh, the fastest and easiest way I've been able to figure out how to do it. I wish I could figure out how to do it, um, like get them to, uh, you know, change velocity automatically, but I haven't figured that out yet. If you know how, let me know, please. I would really appreciate it. All right, peace out.